God be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Yes, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, oh God. Thank you for life, health, and strength, oh Father. Lord, we thank you that you protect us and watch over us, oh God. Lord, we pray for open ears and open eyes, oh God, that we may be receptive to receive your revelation knowledge, oh God, that we would know which way to go, God. Because yes. in this world, there's so much deception yes. that's going on, oh God. And the only way that we'll know which way to go is that we have to hear from the new song. Yes. Father, yes. Father, I just thank you for for the pastor and what he does, for his diligence to ensure that we continue to get together to lift up your name. Lift up the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, I pray for everybody out there right now that's battling this coronavirus, oh God, as that you be with them, that you alleviate and relieve their symptoms, oh God, that you give them rest and peace of mind, oh God. I yes. pray especially for, for Brother Bassett, oh God, part of our family, God, that you be with him, that you heal him. I declare him healed right now yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, that that this sickness will not be unto death, that there's no way that this will be to his demise, Come on. but that he'll have a testimony afterwards yes. to tell us about the goodness of God. Woo. Father, mm. I just thank you for all those that are going to join. Mm. I pray for them and their families, oh God. I pray for them to make the right decisions. I pray for all our leaders, oh God, and those that are in government, oh Father. Yes. That's that you watch over them and protect them, oh Father. Father, use them to make laws and decisions, oh God. That will be best for your people. And that will lead us in a direction that brings glory and honor to your name. Yes. Father, we just thank you again for this venue. Yes. Thank you that you bless it. We yes. thank you that your Holy Spirit, Father, Come abides on. and dwells in the midst of us. Yes. And that, God, I thank you that you've given us a mind to be receptive yes. and open to hear from him. Yes. And to allow him to speak in our lives. Yes. And I just thank you for it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, again, Lord, we just thank you for, for just still being alive, oh, Father. Yes, Lord Jesus. God, this week, my first cousin died. Mm. Classmate got killed in an accident. Mm. Father, but but I'm still here, Father. It's yes, not because Lord. I'm more deserving than them. Mm. I have no idea the rhyme or the reason, Father, but I thank you. Give I thank you, Father. Yes. And I pray that they're in your presence yes. right now, resting in heaven. And yes. I pray for all those that have lost loved ones, Father, yes. that you would comfort them yes. and be with them. And that you would cause those that are out there hearing yes. the gospel to make the right choice of God. Yes. And that's not AT&T, Father. That's you. Yes, you. These and other blessings. We ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You, I, look, y'all, this is, this is one of the things I wanted to cover. The Lord's leading me on, been leading me on. And, and Brother Addison uh, and Elder Johnson is back. How you doing? Yeah, I'm trying to get in on my computer. Hallelujah. Amen. How you doing? Trying to log in on the computer. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. You seem to do it. It's like you can't your computer won't come on. Well, it won't it won't bring the bring the uh it won't bring the uh, meeting up. Go bring your do check your calendar invite. You gotta bring your calendar up. All right. But Johnson, if you use that computer you bought 15 years ago, it's probably not going to break it up. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might be. I, <laughs> Myron, Myron, I know you wanted to say that. I heard it in my hey. spirit, so I think it was going to say it. <laughs> it was, it was going to be in that line of thought. <laughs> I was going to I was gonna say that jawbone is not a computer, man. <laughs> hey, but I, guess, I guess the question is that jawbone the same as the computer. Oh, that's not oh, a MacBook. My goodness. Oh, my goodness, y'all need to stop. Hey, hey, hey Alvin, how old is the uh, your your Bible, the jawbone? Man, probably older than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. I said you probably got one of those old computers too. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> I took it to uh to Best Buy the other day and they said uh it was I ain't gonna tell you. <laughs> they, they said please don't try to prepare this. Yeah man, they wouldn't try to load nothing on it. It was not even a virus they, 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 they look, they probably said they don't have parts for this no more, sir. <laughs> no, they started introducing me to other other equipment. <laughs> they didn't even talk about it. <laughs> Might want to look at this. <laughs> Amen. Hey, but you know what I wanted to uh, 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 lead and take a discussion today, uh, brother. As you think about this, I was saying is that 
I remember uh, El, a bishop said the other day, it was in one of a couple of studies back where he said, we don't have no power. And, and I wanted to, because I'm going to talk about power today, power as a believer and what we've been anointed to do. Uh, it is clear, and, 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 and Bishop is right in the sense that besides him, besides God, I have no power. But the question is that with him, we do have power and authority, and we need to make sure we need to learn how to walk and remind ourselves to walk in that authority and in that power and that anointing. Uh, what I want to bring up first to just lead into the discussion is in this uh, scripture here, uh, for those who are listening, is Isaiah 61, verse 1 and 2. And then the other one is Jesus read in Luke 4, 18. If you can read that, uh, Brother Addison, I appreciate that. All right. <clears throat> Isaiah 61, 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good things unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, and proclaim liberty to the captive, and the opening of the prisons to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. Yes, sir. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, and recover of sight to the blind, to set all liberty them that are bruised. That's Luke 4, 18. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and, and one of the things that, Jimmy, I think we had talked about it before, if y'all notice on that, Jesus ran all the way up to the set at liberty portion. Uh, he didn't go into the, the, the vengeance. Right. That's another time that will happen. Absolutely. Jesus, Jesus came to preach the gospel. The, the, and, 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 and it said that he was anointed to do it. Uh, and, and I was thinking about the, the fact is that when you look at the Old Testament saints to include the jawbone uh, ministry, of uh, Samuel, Samson, when 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 the spirit rested on him or came up on him, he had this amazing strength to 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 use a jawbone to defeat the army. Uh, Jesus, as we looked at the scriptures, uh, we didn't see the mass miracles, the raising of the dead, the laying hands on the sick, until he was endued from the breast of the Holy Spirit after he got baptized. Then he went to go preach the gospel, right? So so, so we saw the anointing of Jesus uh, only occurring when the Holy Spirit rested on him. Is that, is that, that's something safe to say? Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. So in other words, far as a believer, the same thing that happened on the day of Pentecost is when the Holy Spirit rests upon those who believe. And once you have that, now you walk in under the the, the anointing. That, and let me go to the next one for you, Brother Addison, so we can have greater respect of where I'm coming from. Because I, well, you know, I, do, I do want to let y'all know, I'm not, I don't believe God, we're not toothless Christians, is, is what I'm trying to uh, make sure we, we, we understand we are not toothless Christians. We have teeth. We have been given weapons. But the Bible said for the weapons of warfare are not cardinal, but mighty through God for the pulling down the strongholds, correct? We, we, we have, we have to understand, we have to walk under the anointing in our day-to-day -day life. You know, go ahead and read the Isaiah 10, 27 for me. Okay. <clears throat> And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. Yes, and sir. the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Come on now. 
Come on. Let's just stop right there. The, the what will be destroyed because of what? What's going to be destroyed? The yoke. The, the yoke. yoke. The, the things that it binds us. Like, even when we talk about this COVID-19, even talking about the different challenges you have in life, it's going to be destroyed, those yokes that comes on us, right? It is because of the anointing. Uh, what Jimmy, I don't know about y'all, but I know World Changes, he came up with a definition, yoke destroying power of God. Burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. Yeah. The burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. Then understand that that's when we talk about we are anointed. Matter of fact, if you look at the word Christ, Christian, it means Christ like. It means anointed like Christ. Right? Christ even said that greater work shall you do. Huh? And, and I think we need to understand it's not our, it's only with the Holy Spirit on us, though. I'm not, I just want, and Tim, I think we agree with that. It's only. The Holy Spirit that has the power that operates through us. Well, I think that we make sure we have to always identify that we are not or are, are not or is not the source of the power. And the, yeah, there you go, bro. And, and I think oftentimes, I think because um, people have been anointed to do certain things, or 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 certain things have happened at certain times, I think they lose sight sometimes, and now. They step out thinking they're the source of that particular spiritual gift or whatever, and that they can just call on it or do it however, whenever, whatever they want to, as if it was emanating from within them. Yes, sir. The Bible says that um, he's the father of lights, and in him there's no darkness yes, sir. at all. So uh, even in the first verse that you read, uh, it was the Lord God uh that was on him on him and, yeah exactly right and it was because of the, the 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 descending of the holy ghost on jesus that gave him the power to yeah. do those things and i think that he himself during his earthly ministry was not the source right of the power that he displayed i think that he always did uh what his father told him yeah. and because of that he received the resources at the time and for the situation as his father self fit he was just obedient as a yielding vessel to allow himself to be used by god well let's even put it from another perspective too is that he always glory like you said and, and i just want to caveat the other piece is always giving him the glory god the father the glory huh you know when he even said in the we read last week about lazarus come forth or at least we read it you and i read it Lazarus come forth. It, it was the fact is that Father, I know that you always hear me. Remember that brother as we read that? Mm -hmm. You hear you heard me. That's another thing we caught Jimmy when we were reading up of Lazarus uh being raised from the dead and when Jesus did his prayer, he said, Father, I thank you that you have always heard me. You know? So so in other words. This petition that was made for Lazarus to come forth was something given, I guess, God, Jesus asked the Father. And, and the Father gave him that authority to, to raise, in, in this case, one person, which was Lazarus. But he said, because you, he always gave that power to God. And, and it's always about glorifying him. You know, the only person I saw, Jimmy, that was different, uh, hey, Bishop, the only one I saw was different was uh, maybe called upon at will was uh, Samson. Uh, you, you remember the, the, the fact that he lost his ability to respond quickly when his hair was cut, and they told him not to cut his hair. But that was just a symbol of the connection. In that the was covenant. a symbol of the connection. That was the covenant that he had and so the source was still of God because when that connection was broken, right, the strength was as well. Yes. So it, it applied to Samson, no no different in my opinion. Right, 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 you're right. Because the, the hair was not the source. No. It was the it was, it was like the covenant agreement. It was a covenant, 
and I think they told him that not to do these are things you won't do, right? You mm -hmm. won't drink strong wine or something, and, and you won't be cutting your hair. And then he told that female that was one of the things that he was not supposed to do. And that's when she she cut it, or had somebody else cut it while she was while he was laying on her, her lap. And then all of a sudden now that ability to use the jawbone, elder, uh, was was not available to him and he couldn't break the uh the ropes as he done before right uh that was that was but at the same time that seemed like it was called upon at will but we also saw when the disciples once they received the anointing on the day of pentecost and remember that, that young man that was was lame that was looking for arms at the at the at the pool of bethesda i think it was or, or, or the beautiful gate the, the, you know, when they said, hey, silver and gold have I none, but such that I have, right? I give unto you. And then when he said, he said, in the name of who? Jesus. So, right, the, the anointing, the power of a believer is rested upon the source. And he said, ask what? In my name, right? Is in my name. That you go to the Father for the anointing or for the Holy Spirit to operate on your behalf. But here's the point. As believers, you have the anointing, you have the Holy Spirit on mm. you, resting on you to, to, to operate and go and preach the gospel. Because it's interesting that Jim, when he read that, he said, I've been anointed to do what? To, to preach, right? The, the gospel, right? And, and and if you ever notice is that when we we read a couple of weeks ago and months ago, we read in, in, in Mark as well as in Matthew, you have been sent to go and preach the gospel. We and, and I like the part about it is you know right as we read in Mark 16, verse 20, he said, and they went preaching everywhere and the Lord working with them yeah. <clears throat> and confirming the word the word with signs but that it's interesting that that scripture we read earlier was I've been anointed to go preach we have been anointed every believer that believes in God Almighty has been anointed and, and now to read this for us real quick, look at this right here about us, what are the effects of being anointed uh, is Isaiah 60, verse 1. Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light and king to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy sons shall come from afar and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted in unto thee. The forces of the Gentile shall come unto thee. And you know, it, it, that seems like a, a similar to Pentecost is what the, the, his, the Lord has to rise up upon thee. Basically, we're talking about the fact is that the Christians are not toothless. It's just that they understand that they have power, but that power is the source of that power is the Holy Spirit. Because in the book of Acts, it said that you shall be a dude. Matter of fact, I, I should put it in here. And then we can use that to move forward on our discussion. Go uh, read that, uh, Brother Addison. Acts 1 and 1. The former tree have I made, O Theopolis, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach mm -hmm. until the day in which he was taken up. Mm -hmm. After that, 
he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he yeah. had chosen. Yes, sir. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion yes. by many infallible proofs, uh -huh. being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the, of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Yes. And <clears throat> being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, uh -huh. but wait yes. for the promise of the Father, uh -huh. saith he, ye have heard of me. Uh -huh. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall baptize with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Uh -huh. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the time or the season which the Father hath put in his own power. Ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem yes. and in all Judea. Yes and in Samaria uh -huh. and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And you see the consistent... Before you, before you take that down, it was just one thing I wanted to bring up real quick. Um, we talked about Martha. When Jesus said, I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection, yes. And Martha said, I know that you are God. And, <laughs> and no, he, she said, I know that he will be... Right risen in the last day yeah. so even the disciples uh -huh. had the same mindset as yeah. Martha yeah yeah because it says here <laughs> you know they ask Jesus they still ask it, yeah is this time you know are you going to restore again the kingdom of Israel right so even they were under the same mindset as Martha uh concerning Christ right and what he's supposed to do yeah, right? they still looking for that. They, they, David. They, yeah, they had not yet understood the purpose of his coming. Yes, and the purpose and the reason for him being there uh, to fulfill the uh, the prophecy and the will of God. Hey, so that, I just wanted to bring that up before we we go on. That's a good point because I want to bring in a consistent theme theme here which is that it was, they're looking for uh, 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 the sweet bye-bye, as I call it, this, you know, something in the future. Well, they're looking for an earthly kingdom. Exactly. They're not and, looking for the kingdom of heaven. No, and, they, and, and, and remember Jesus even told them that the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God does not come by observation. It, it, comes, it comes within you. It comes from, from within you, right? Yeah. And, and, and then the part about the fact that once again you see this thing about the anointing of the Holy Spirit resting coming on you right and and, 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 and so you go do what go preach the gospel and, and and Bishop the whole point I'm trying to say is that believers are not toothless they are anointed with the Holy Spirit that rests on them to do the work of the ministry uh, to operate with the power that God has put on them, invested in them through the Holy Spirit. You know, this morning, it's a very, it's a blessing to have known going into the military, I think, because we were in dude with power too. We were giving him 16s and whatever else, and airplanes and whatever it was, implements of warfare that, that we were trained to use. But we weren't given the authority to use it until somebody said so. And so what I was looking at is that there's the little, what what action did we take to implement what we were called to when we were, when we were actually on active duty or when we were in service? Right. Not different from where we are right now. You right. have tremendous power, but we don't have the authority to use it. But, you, but, 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 but I think that's saying you do, right? You, he we, gave you authority, not, we, right? We cannot initiate the action, is what I'm saying. Is that you? You're a gun that's loaded, but you can't pull the trigger. You're, you're the airplane is sitting on the tarmac until somebody tells them to launch. 
So there's a tremendous amount of, I guess you call it potential power, but it can't go kinetic until he gives the, the say so. So it's not our, it's not our power actually, it's his operating through it. You don't, you don't think, you don't think that we have the, uh, uh, we haven't been given permission? No. I, I, so? think, I think that we are given permission on a real time, in a real time scenario. I think that we're given permission that he leads by his spirit. I truly think, like, like when you guys were, you were A White or or J Star. J Stars. You're sitting aloft and you see the whole arena. You know, you see the whole theater, and you can direct fire in whatever direction you think it needs to go. Where the guys are sitting on the ground, they don't even have the information flow that you have. So, it's the same with us. We are kind of like the ground troops, and we, he's sitting aloft you know, with a full vision of what needs to be done in order to acquire another soul. And he gives directions in accordance with his knowledge of what needs to be implemented. Right. To that accomplishment. So if we act aside from, we can and we do act aside from, that's the problem. Is that we do <laughs> that. That is the problem, right? Yeah, we do yeah. things that are not in accordance with his will. Right. We implement I'm... the power that he's given us at a time when it's not called. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> I mean, and I agree with you. I'm saying is that you have permission to go preach the gospel, but you had no permission, but I said, to do something opposite of that which you was called to do, right? Yeah. And it's, it's not power to do ignorant things or selfish things. It's all supposed to line up with this commission right here, right? And you know what's funny about it? Like I said, if, if you actually read that again, and, and I think we should. I, that verse 14, Brother Addison, that you caught, I think that's what he's saying what we mess up at. We got to get this addressed in our life as we allow the anointing to work on us as we move forward, right? It, 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 again, I think, I think, and then for me, that, that become, had become the issue. Where am I expending my effort? Am I expending my effort in trying to figure it out or decide to determine what I should do? Or am I spending my effort in listening to who's sending the signal? If I'm on the on the battlefield and I can't see what's around the corner, I'm going to inherently listen to the guy in the sky and target in accordance with his coordinates, right? Well, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times, my, my problem has been in the past uh -huh. is that I have looked at the terrain, not fully aware of all the things that were going on and decided to shoot a shot over here or fire a missile over in this direction <laughs> when I, w I wasn't listening. And, and, and so I put a lot of effort in trying to figure stuff out and little effort in listening to the guy who was really calling, calling, you know, giving, giving the, 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 the coordinates. And that guy is the Holy Ghost. Hey, 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 Elder, I, I, How much I, time am I spending listening to him and how much time am I spending trying to figure it out? Elder, I want to throw something at you. And I, I, I know he, uh, God did a good job in the gospel using the satirian. Remember Brother Addison the satirian that Amen. and he said, I'm a man of authority. Under authority. Under authority. And I'm a man under authority. Yes. And, and I understand the relationship of the authority given to me and how it's supposed to work, right? Well, and and, and you see right here that we, we look at Mark 16, verse 14 through 20, but I, I want to throw something at you. You you guys from the Air Force, uh Y'all been taught a little different from the way we were taught. Yeah, we were taught the right way. Uh oh, yeah. say, uh -oh. Say, it say it again. You see, what 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 Jimmy you realized the problem, man. Let's see, we understand. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. I, see, I can see where I can see where they're lacking the peace where the citizens so opposed to the army people. See, what we get before we go into battle. The, the, the whole objective and everything else been briefed before we go into the line of departure, before we actually move out to, to, to do an invasion, do a maneuver, do an offensive operation. Brother Addison, we, we have objectives already been given to everybody in the organization. Uh -huh. And the reason why is that once the bullets start flying, the, the leaders, or the people in charge, especially in the front line, you know, the, the NCOs is going forward, right? They call for the airport. <laughs> but, it, but also, also those, 
That's why y'all y'all spot, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, even as a matter of fact, I use the F for those fighter pilots have their objective that they're supposed to operate on. Yeah. And when they go up in the air, all hell breaks loose. You got you got I preach. I preach. <laughs> you got missiles firing at them, you got other aircraft firing at them. But their whole point is that they were told to get to a certain target and take it out. <clears throat> and they don't depend on one aircraft to do that. That's why they send more than one aircraft. But all they want is one missile to get into the target area to take out an objective, whether it's a, whether it's a, a tower or a bridge. You remember you saw that? Y'all saw the Tuskegee Airmen and all that when they went to go get a bridge, right? You'll send one aircraft after another to take that bridge out. <laughs> or they'll take one aircraft after another to take out an aircraft carrier. They didn't care whether so and so got killed. They didn't care whether the squad leader, squadron leader got killed. It, everybody knew what the objective was. And, and the same thing in the Army, you're talking about a soldier. You know, like Artie Murphy or something like that? It, it's when a, when a sergeant gets killed, captain gets killed, lieutenant gets killed, every soldier still knew what the objectives were. And you know what? They're supposed to keep going because they have to get to the objective. Once they get to the objective, they have to sit Elder Johnson and wait for instructions to go further. But the whole purpose was to seize the objective. 